Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover adapter design button implementation. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch adapter design button introduction and adapter design button class diagram and sequence diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Okay. Now we will see adapter design button implementation. Uh, first, I will explain the scenario where we can use uh, adapter design pattern. So in the right side, you can see third party building system and the left side, you can see existing HR system, which is client. Uh, this both systems are incompatible systems. Okay. How it is incompatible? We will see now. So here you can see third party building system has uh, one method called process salary and uh, uh, the parameter is uh, our list of uh, employee. Okay. Uh, so if you want to uh, process the salary, then you have to pass uh, array list of employee. Okay. So what this uh, method will do is uh, it will iterate uh, this employee list and get each employee and calculate each employee salary and uh, deposit uh, the employee salary in their bank account. Okay. That is what this method will do. Okay. <coughs> and uh, left side you can see a uh, HR system uh, which has uh, employee information in a, uh, in a string array format okay but uh, uh, this third party building system accept uh, employee information as a array list right so if uh, hr system wants to process uh, their salary uh, then hr system cannot make call to this third party building system right because uh, this process salary method won't accept uh, employee string array right and uh, now the problem is this uh, existing HR system also don't want to change the code and uh, this third party billing system also don't want to change the code. So how will how we can uh, make uh, this incompatible system work together. So only solution is adapter. Okay. So we have to introduce adapter in between this existing HR system and the third party billing system then uh, this HR system make call to the adapter passing the employee information as a string array okay then what this adapter will do is it will uh, it will read this uh, employee information uh, string array and uh, it will formulate employee object and uh, it will make array list of uh, employees and pass it to this uh, process salary method okay so in this way we can uh, we can make uh, this incompatible interface working together right so that uh, so in this scenario we can use adapter uh, design pattern okay so this is a scenario uh, we can see how we can uh, implement uh, we can next we can see the class diagram of uh, this scenario okay Okay, uh, this is the class diagram of uh, the scenario which I have just explained and uh, we can uh, implement adapter design pattern in two ways. Uh, the first way is object adapter way and the second way is class adapter way. Okay, and if you see this scenario, the main uh, uh, class is employee, right? And I have defined employee class and it has name, employee ID and designation and uh, it has a getter and setter method for name employee id and designation and uh, suppose if you want to construct uh, employee object then you have to call this constructor uh, by passing employee id name and designation okay and uh, so we have a hr system here and it has uh, employee information as a string array right so i have defined a human resource uh, system class and it has get employees method and it will return uh, employee information as a string array okay and here we have a third party building system and it has a process salary method right so i have defined a third party building system class and which has process salary method and it accept array list of employee okay and this is nothing but a adopting okay and in between this two incompatible system we have adapter right so i have defined employee adapter and employee adapter uh, implements i target interface and it has 
one abstract method called the process company salary method and what it accepts is uh, string array okay and uh, this method will be implemented by the employee adapter you can see here and what this method does is uh, it will read a string array of uh, employee information and uh, it will uh, populate array list of uh, employee and then it will pass it to this third party building system okay and here you can see uh, this employee adapter has reference to the third party building system right so that is a key point in uh, object adapter okay so that adapter will have reference to the adopting okay when uh, requests come from the human resource uh, system uh, this adapter will do necessary conversion and then it will just delegate the request to the third party building system which is nothing but adapting okay okay uh, uh, now uh, we will see uh, how this is uh, uh, done okay using the eclipse I will open Eclipse and uh, I will explain the code. Okay. Okay. I have opened Eclipse. Uh, we'll see the code now. Uh, in class diagram, we have seen right. First uh, important uh, class is employee class, and I have opened uh, employee dot Java. It has uh, three attribute: employee ID, name, and designation, and uh, it has a getter and setter method for uh, employee ID, name and designation. Also, it has uh, employee constructor. Uh, if you want to create employee object, you have to call uh, this constructor. Okay. And uh, next class is uh, third party building system. It has a process salary method, right? So, I will open uh, third party building system Java. Okay, it has a process salary method. Uh, so, what this uh, method does is, it will iterate uh, employee list which is here right and uh, it will iterate uh, employee list and uh, get each employee and uh, based on their employee designation it will uh, credit the salary suppose uh, employee is uh, team leader then uh, 70,000 rupees will be credited to their account if uh, the employee is a developer then 40,000 rupees will be credited to their account and if the employee is uh, tester and uh, uh, 30,000 rupees salary will be credited to their account. Okay. This is what uh, this uh, process salary method does. Okay. And uh, next class is uh, human resource system, right? And I will open human resource system. And it has uh, get employees method, right? And it has uh, employee information in the string array format that you can see here. And it has main method. Uh, it will get the employee information and it will just pass it to the target target is nothing but uh, uh, employee adapter right so so here you can see employee adapter here right so i just opened employee adapter which implements i target uh, interface so what this i target interface contains is uh, it has uh, process company salary method and uh, which accept uh, string array of uh, employee info okay <clears throat> and what this uh, pro uh, process company salary uh, method does is uh, it accept uh, string array of employee information okay and uh, it will read each employee information and uh, formulate uh, employee object and uh, it will uh, create the uh, employee list okay which is nothing but array list of uh, employee okay and uh, this method uh, is implemented by this employee adapter actually this method is there in i target uh, which is abstract uh, method and this employee adapter implements i target so it should uh, provide implementation of uh, this process uh, company salary method and once uh, it does the conversion uh, it will uh, just uh, delegate the request to the third party building system that you can see here it will pass the uh, employee list to the process salary method okay uh, like we discussed in the class diagram the key point is uh, this adapter class will have 
reference to the adoptee which is nothing but the third party billing system uh, because uh, we have uh, implemented this adopter design pattern uh, using the uh, object adopter way right in object adopter way uh, employee adopter uh, will have reference to the adoptee here adoptee is third party building system okay okay i will uh, just uh, run this program and i will show you the output okay so here hr system is the client it passes uh, employee uh, string array to the adopter then what adopter does is it converted array of uh, employee to the array list of employee okay so you can see uh, array list of employee here and then it uh, just delegate the request to the third party billing system for uh, processing the employee salary okay and uh, this output from the uh, third party uh, billing system so what it does is uh, uh, based on the designation it calculated the salary and it uh, credited to the account so you can see for team leader it credited 70000 rupees and for developer it credited 40000 rupees and uh, the employee raj also a developer so it uh, credited 40000 rupees and uh, rahul is a tester so it uh, credited 30000 rupees okay so this is how uh, adopted design pattern works okay okay we'll go to the class diagram again okay i think uh, now you understand uh, adapter implement adapter design pattern implementation using uh, object adapter way and uh, i have put together my, all this sample code in my blog called ram j2e you can just visit this site and you can get the sample code and uh, this is about uh, adapter design pattern implementation of uh, uh, object adapter and uh, thanks for watching bye